Thank you, Native, so much for sponsoring this episode. I've been wearing some deodorant for a couple weeks now. I'm really loving the texture. It's so smooth. It's not sticky. Plus, there's a ton of different scents. Native, you're doing it right. To choose from, like, rose, we got some cucumber, we got some jasmine. But, you know, my favorite is obviously, I love the cotton and the cedar wood. Uh, the deodorant stays on all day, even when I'm shooting videos or gardening. <laughs> Oh, get in there. Native is made from clean ingredients like coconut oil, shea butter. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. Three deodorants are usually $36 USD. But if you use my code, link is in the description. Get them for $24 USD. That's 33% off. Boom! Homestyle cookery! I got some lobsters. I got a recipe in here, grilled lobster with Bernays and salt and vinegar chips. This is the only way to eat hot lobster, I think, maybe. There's a few different ways, but you know, a little butter baste it or some shit. Now, chapter 11, page 329. Lobster thermidor with Bernays and salt and vinegar chips. We should be able to make Bernays. And if there happens to be lobsters, then we're making lobster thermidor. Grilling a raw lobster is tricky. Definitely pre-blanch your lobster. You can do that. I'm not gonna pre-blanch them, but you can pre-blanch them, okay? I'm a profesh. I always say four minutes for this, but I'm not even gonna do that. You can transfer it to the fridge and the grill later that day. I think that a good potato chips makes sense for this instead of place of French fries. The crisp and salt of them, the moist, smoky lobster, and the fluffy, airy Bernays is a perfect combination that will fill your house with love. So this is a, a, a beautiful, put this somewhere. Where do I put it? I never know where to put this. It's like, what the fuck? You know, I never know where to really put it. I got the Kishu charcoal straight from Japan, the original Bichiton. Thing is though, I don't have I don't have a fire. I don't have a gas grill. I'm gonna show you something that's really cool and I learned, you know, just along the way. I learned this along the way. We're gonna put our charcoal in the oven under the broiler as close as possible for about, you know, an hour almost. Charcoal in a pan, broiler on high. Yeah, boom, in the pan, that's it. Let's get the potatoes going first, okay? So we're gonna make salt and vinegar chips, right? This is two cups of water. This is two cups of white vinegar. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We got our mandolin. Everyone has a mandolin story. Slicing off your finger, so we gotta be careful. If your potato gets too big, you just trim it off a little bit. Make a couple slivers, no waste. I only need two potatoes. We'll give us enough for four people. The thing too with the vinegar makes these like the crispiest potato chips you've ever had in your life. We're just gonna mix these up. And you wanna kinda work them a little bit. Get those starches kinda off them. Now we're gonna just take these, put them into the fridge. You can do it overnight, or you can just do a couple hours, no problem. All right, so the oil, we need to get up to 350. Once again, whenever you're frying at home, is make sure that your oil is low and you put not a lot of potato chips in. It's gonna boil up. You don't want it to boil over and start a bomb. No bomb. I'm just gonna take these potato chips, put them in there. So we're just gonna take a couple potato chips. I'm gonna put them right onto our spider. <laughs> we're gonna just drop them in. We're just gonna move them around. And you wanna be able to tend to them. You don't want them to stick together. We're gonna make beautiful little potato chips. All right, here we go. Perfect, crispy, beautiful. And as soon as they come out, let's hit them with some salt. You can do sea salt, you can do whatever you want. Boom, 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 boom. And I don't know if I mentioned this, you definitely want to make sure that you're using a canola oil. We got a couple chops going on. That vinegar brine makes a huge difference. Ooh. 
Oh my God. Now what, what we gotta do is make some clarified butter to make our Bernays. Add one pound of unsalted butter and we're gonna simmer this until we can split it off and we're gonna ladle out some of the solids so we just have the actual, like the ghee. So once all this butter's melted, start getting some of that foam off the top right away. Skim your scum. Get that skimmy scum out of here. We get left with that beautiful clarified butter. Pretty much the best cooking liquid of all time. All the frothy froth is there. We're just gonna pour that clarified butter. How easy is that? We got clarified butter, everybody. Yay! Yay! Now what we gotta do is make our acid component. We got a beautiful shallot. We're just gonna cut that in half. Just peel that up. And I'm just gonna slice this right across, okay? You can dice it, you can do whatever you want. And we're gonna reduce the vinegar with the nice shallot. I got some tarragon here. I don't mind if the stems are in there. We got some beautiful little peppercorns, like a tablespoon of peppercorn. And we got some white wine vinegar, about half a cup. So now what we're gonna do is infuse, and we're gonna reduce this vinegar by about half. Just pour that through the strainer. We're just gonna use the spoon, the back of our spoon, push out all that flavor. Look at that color on that. See the color on that? It's beautiful. So what we're gonna do is get our double boiler going. So we just got a little bit of water in our pan, a nice glass bowl on top. We're gonna cook everything by steam. I do wanna just cool down our vinegar a little bit. So you can just put it in the fridge for like 10 minutes. And now we're gonna make our Bernays, okay? We're gonna make our Bernays. We got our beautiful vinegar with the shallot, the peppercorn. Let's get the yolks going. You just separate your yolks from your whites. And I'm gonna do one yolk per lobster, one tablespoon of vinegar, and a quarter cup of butter. We got our egg yolks, we got our vinegar, and just gonna pour this in. Now we're gonna turn the heat on. We're gonna get steamy on the double boiler. We're gonna make this really nice, okay? Nice little Bernays. So I like to get it a little frothy before I start adding the butter. I'm just gonna add butter in nice and slow. We're pretty much making a warm mayonnaise, okay? We're just gonna dribble it in. All right, so you want it nice and thick. We're gonna drizzle this all over our beautiful lobsters. We have our Bernays base here, okay? We're gonna season it with some salt. You could broil it after like a real thermidor, but we're gonna have that smokiness and that char already from the lobsters. It's gonna be incredible. So I'm gonna hit it with some lemon zest. I love lemon zest. Ah! And then we got some fresh tarragon here. We're gonna take the leaves off, chop it up, add that to the Bernays, stir this in. Oh yeah. Yeah! Our beautiful Bernays over top. Ah! Did you get that? Did you get that? Ah! It got me, it got me good. I'm putting down just a steel rack. We are gonna add our grill to that. And now we're gonna pull out our charcoal. Here we go, perfect. Beautiful white hot binchiton. I'm just gonna lay this in the bottom. I want to get these a little bit hotter. They're hot all the way through. Now we're gonna just kind of spark it up. We're gonna put our grill on. It is hot, we are burning the wood. So we got lobsters. You wanna make sure that they have long antennas because if they have long antennas, it means that they weren't in the tanks that long when you were buying them. What you wanna do is put your knife right in the middle of their head, push down, and then we're just gonna go directly, work our way down, and they are filled with beautiful lobster meat. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop them all in half here. So now we have our chopped lobsters. So what I wanna do is just take the heel of your knife and make a little incision before you grill it. We're gonna take off the elastic, and now we're gonna grill the exoskeleton skin side down. Gonna hit it with a little bit of salt on the tail. We're doing it a very small kind of charcoal way. So this is gonna take a fair amount of time. I just really like that you're gonna get a lot of flavor from that charcoal and it's not this big smoky mess. I'm just gonna add a couple little knobs of butter in here and they're gonna melt in with the, the lobster fat. The butter's melting, the meat is perfect, it is beautiful. That's all we need to do. Once you grill all your lobsters, it takes a minute, I know. We're just gonna 
crack, the big claw. There we go. Look at that. All right, you want a little lemon juice? Some fresh lemon juice? Why not? Some fresh cracked pap. We got the beautiful Bernays, our potato chips. You know, I, I know that I've said before, I only like cold lobster, but if I'm eating hot lobster, this is the way that I eat it, okay? Now, let's plate one up. Little parchment here. Crimple it up. You crimple it up because it's cool. Everyone's doing the crinkle. Throw in a couple lobsters. Yummy. Look at that with the big row. We got some potato chips. There we go. We just ladle on that beautiful hollandaise. Oh. You want if maybe if you had some pickles or something, but you want something, a couple little hot peppers, maybe? Here we go. Couple hot peppers, whatevs. And there you go. Lobster thermidor with Bernays and salt and vinegar chips. Everybody, we've done the work. It took a minute, we had to make potato chips, salt and vinegar potato chips. We made them. Guess what, you can buy salt and vinegar potato chips if you want, okay? Look at this. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Cooked from raw on that smoky grill. Giving us such a, a beautiful texture, right? Half a lobster tail covered in Bernays. Dip? Let's do a dip. Should I just eat all this? No, we gotta share. We gotta share. We gotta share. I'm Maddie Matheson. Homestyle cookery is out! You pick up the phone. Hello? Who's that? Oh! Did you buy the new Homestyle Cookery? Yeah! yeah! You gotta get it, everybody, okay? You gotta get it. Buy it for your mother, buy it for your father, buy it for a friend, buy it for an enemy, whoever it is. September 29th. Oh, worldwide! Worldwide! Ah! I love you guys. Namaste. Mm. Wow. Wow.